Kia ora. Today we're looking at chemical properties of alcohols. Alcohols are reactive. Uh, they have an OH group that is the functional group. And remember the difference between oxygen and hydrogen in terms of their electronegativities is quite high. So that bond between oxygen and hydrogen is quite polar, polar covalent bond. Now when we look at the structure of ethanol we can see that all of these bonds, even though they're not drawn to show it, like this bond here, are 109 degrees. It's a tetrahedral shape around each of these carbon atoms. You have to remember this is a three-dimensional structure, as shown in the, in the models on the side there, not, um, so those bond angles are not 90 degrees. On top of that, Oxygen has a double pair of non-bonding electrons and that contributes to the, the um, negativity around the oxygen atom. Now if we have a look at some of the reactions of alcohols, we've got combustion reactions. Alcohols burn really well, particularly the small ones, and the small alcohols tend to burn with a clean flame looks blue. Here we've got a slight bit of yellow in it, but it's a very clean burning flame. And they're commonly used in racing cars, hot rods, racing cars give a good amount of energy to the to the engine. So this is a complete combustion reaction and we can see that the alcohol is reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water vapour. As I say, it's complete combustion. As molecules of alcohol get larger, more oxygen is needed for them to burn cleanly. Therefore, as they get bigger, alcohol molecules tend to undergo incomplete combustion. So they get a yellow, sometimes sooty flame forming. And the products that form can be carbon, hence the soot, carbon monoxide, some carbon dioxide could be formed, and water vapour. Alcohols also undergo oxidation reactions. Okay, so oxidation reactions uh, occur when extra oxygen is added into the molecule. So we have a look at um, primary and secondary alcohols. They are both readily oxidised by strong oxidising agents, but tertiary alcohols don't react with oxidising um, agents. The examples of oxidising agents include potassium dichromate, and potassium permanganate, both of which you've worked with before. Now what happens to primary alcohols? They form carboxylic acids. So you remember the structure of a primary alcohol like ethanol, where you've got a carbon with an OH group, the functional group attached. When it reacts with these oxidising agents, it forms a carboxylic acid. So we've got an extra oxygen being added on. Now for that oxygen to be able to be added on with a double bond, this carbon structure has had to lose two hydrogens as well. So two hydrogens are removed in this reaction, so the double bond O can be added on. And that is the oxidation reaction of the primary alcohol. At this level you don't need to worry about secondary, uh, sorry, yeah, secondary or tertiary alcohols and their reactions.